Welcome back. Finally today, we look back on the year that was 2016. Over the Christmas and January break, the native animals enjoy the campus uninterrupted. In 2016, however, the lace monitors, owls, foxes, echidnas and bird life were soon joined by builders refurbishing the bathrooms and the language building, the first Hills Grammar building. While at the top of the campus, our ECEC children commenced their year. February, kindergarten arrived at big school. Some were bright-eyed, some were teary-eyed, but enough about the parents. The children arrived enthusiastically to commence their Hills Grammar journey. K-6 went to Matilda to see what school would be like if Mrs Trunchbull was in charge. New parents gathered for a cocktail party and in the meantime, Year 12 lost their hair, raising a record amount for cancer research. March arrived at Pace, Year 9 camp, Papa revamped and welcomed our sister school from Hiroshima, Japan. Year 8 music students performed, while the annual general meeting of PAFA endorsed a new direction with enthusiasm. April is punctuated by holidays, but not before we welcomed 250 visitors to the school on open day. The old language building rose like a phoenix from the dust, and the work moved up the hill to commence the extension on the ECEC, and the students just kept on learning in their new winter uniform. In May, the ECEC children enjoyed a breakfast with their mothers as K-6 queued at the Mother's Day stall. NAPLAN was completed, more camps, exams, parent-teacher interviews, and Year 7 gave TED Talks. June arrived, Year 6 travelled to Canberra, the presentation ball welcomed Dr Catherine Keenan as our guest, and the drowsy chaperone lit up the performance centre in song and dance. Our term ended in great sadness though, as we learned that our principal, Mr Robert Phipps, had passed away. June and July, nothing stopped during the holidays. ECEC turned six, Year 12 went to university, our sports people travelled to Fiji, and Miss Teagle and Mr Corrigan went to Washington. When we returned, we gathered to pay tribute to Mr Phipps, his legacy, his passion and love for his students, and dedication to this school. We celebrated his 20 years service in music, pictures, reflections, speech, and recollections. Vale Robert Phipps. August, Pirates vs Mermaids was performed in the newly named RJ Phipps Performance Center to squawking applause. Year 10 drama performed Web of Lies. We were joined by Jishkan High School from Japan and our music students performed at both the Ipsha and High Seas Music Festivals at the Sydney Town Hall. The Year 2 Science Fair and the Creative Arts Carnival were added for good measure. In September, our HSC students displayed their major works. The Junior Drama Ensemble performed Everything Old is New Again, and we farewelled Year 12 at the Graduation Assembly and Valedictory Dinner. The Classics Tour Group departed for Italy and Roman Britain. Staff returned for Term 4 on Monday, October 10, the school's 34th birthday. Students returned in their new summer uniforms to Senior Music Camp, a performance of Gary's House, Grandparents and Friends Day, book fairs, commissioning of school leaders, sports club presentations, alumni reunions, and then the higher school certificate exams commenced. Results are out tomorrow, and we wish the class of 2016 every success. As the end of this year rushed towards us, all students were commissioned in the Hills Grammar Original Club and they were busier than ever. Exams, exhibitions, enrichment programs, STEM education, Model United Nations, Health and Fitness, Australian Business Week and Urban Challenge. Year 6 and 10 dinners, Year 7 camp and life-saving programs adorned the month of November. And so we have arrived at December, the year is at a close. We celebrate all that has been achieved, all who have played their parts in creating another wonderful year in our history and for contributing to our ever-evolving and extraordinary story. Congratulations to all members of our community who have lived our motto, Strive for Excellence. Each of our students is unique and it is our hope that by attending this school, you will have discovered exactly what it means to be another Hills Grammar original.
From all of us here at HG News 34, I'm Robert Ovadia. Goodbye.